Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And today I'm going to attempt uh, to use this Thread Magic Thread Container. Um, conditioner, I'm sorry. Well, let's see here. Doesn't I know it's crazy, but I can't figure out how to get the Never mind, got it. As it goes sliding everywhere. All right, so I'm working on the peacock. I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to use this. Get out a, a big old piece here and get rid of. Oh, hold the needle, please. Thank you. So, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a good day. I am glad it is my Friday. Okay, now according to this crazy instructions, you put it there, and you put the lid back on, sure you do, oops, and then you're suppo supposed to pull it, and it says it works for any kind of thread, I'm like, okay, so we will see. I can already tell it's kind of got something on it, so we will, you know, that makes it a tad bit heavier. I know. And, oh, nope, oh, nope, I can't use, I was going to use my new threader, but it won't work with this. But I think what I'm going to do is get a knot in the thing. And then we're going to open this back up. But it's a good thing when I got this, it was morning, you know, and I thought, nope, better not leave that in there because I was afraid it was going to melt. Well, that was the best decision I made all day. Okay, so I kind of pulled it through while it was together, so it doesn't seem to fly away there. Let's go down here to this yellow, where you can actually see where I'm at. But yeah, today was my Friday. Oh my god, I just wanted out of there, and then it got really, really terribly, terribly slow. Okay, I need number 12 which is that light pale pale green color so we will see get a bead on there I don't know I guess I had visions of this stuff like holding it together better I mean it probably takes the static out of it but I don't know. Never used it before. It says it has instructions on the back and it has instructions on the front. It says for bobbins or for hand sewing. It's acid free. Uh, we also recommend the Thread Magic Cube. I don't know what the difference would be. Uh, you can also use the cube on the sewing machine. I guess you attach it somehow to your sewing machine and as the thread goes through it, it conditions it so it doesn't get in a knot I have no idea but and it says less fraying easier to thread less tangling see this is what I was having right here this this right here where it would just like bundle up into a freaking knot about the time I got the damn bead through there oh, I was so pissed I mean it just it does not make this fun this is a challenge but it doesn't make it fun you know, when the thread is going six ways from Sunday, so we will see. I've never had to use it before because I've only been using, um, you know, cotton DMC, so. But it seems to keep it together better so it doesn't poof around a lot or crinkle up. But we've only made two two stitches here, so we will see. I 
that I'd do this a little bit and then I would get out my uh yeah it's coming along um get out my threaders and show you how those work on a bead not threaded not beaded oh my goodness on a cross stitch and you could use it it says any type of thread so but I bought it specifically for this thread so that it would kind of stay together where it was supposed to be because I usually don't have problems with DMC unless I get real crazy and get the thread too long or something but uh, yeah it's coming along I just love this this little painting or whatever you call it picture we'll call it a picture I wanted to do something in the the light oh dear oh, here we go yeah and then where is the freaking light sorry guys let's see if we can bring you down just a bit and then over where am I okay right there there we go so well it's only Wednesday guys kind of wish it was the weekend but I don't get the weekends off at all so it's just not been fun but I mean I can do things on my other days as well but uh, had kind of a busy week and Monday night we all went to the drive-in my boyfriend my daughter and her family and my son and his family and we had like four cars parked there all in a row we all watched the Lion King so that was fun I'd never been to I haven't been to a drive-in since Beverly Hills Cop 3 either that or or uh, what do you call it uh, Star Trek the one about Spock I can't remember which movie it was it was something 3 so it was either Beverly Hills Cop or it was Star Trek 3 so to a drive-in they had one in Denver that we stopped at, but, uh, yeah. So that's sewing along really good. It's not knotting up like it has been, but this has been pretty easy to work on. And, oh, I did buy, I don't know, I haven't bought it yet, but I'm going to buy a set of um, embroidery hoops in different sizes. They come from, like, two to three inches or something like that but I thought that would work really well on working on this kind of stuff because you could locate it someplace in a small area or get it bigger you know I don't know wishful thinking but I'd say that this definitely needs some kind of a hoop not a hoot a hoop so we will see if and when I get those. I don't know. I haven't checked into how long or anything like that. I don't think I bought it from any place crazy. I, your guess is as good as mine. And I don't think it was real expensive, so they may not be very big. So I didn't look to see what the biggest one was. I wasn't paying attention. But I wanted something that was different in sizes so I could move it around in centralized areas of this thing. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to work. But, I mean, I it's not bouncing all over like it was. So I'm really happy with that thread magic stuff. I'm happy I got it. I've been wanting to get it. I just keep forgetting to order the damn stuff off of Amazon. And because we have no choice where we're at, you know, I mean, it's not like we live in a big city or even have a big, huge, gigantuous Walmart, you know, so you don't have a lot of choices. And I've been to some of the Walmarts that are big, and still your choices aren't really great. But, uh, yeah, I, and I was even at Hobby Lobby, so I wasn't looking for this. I was too busy with my... Uh, mixed media the time I went down there for that or looking for frames for diamond paintings so we will see let me put this through here and then I'm gonna whoops I'm just gonna 
up and down it right there so it stays. Okay, hang on guys. I'm going to pause you for a second and then I'm going to put my beets away though. Yep, we're going to put them away. Isn't that pretty? I love that green. I'll work on this other part. It's getting dark outside and it's a cloudy, icky day. So I'll try this in the daylight to get these dark parts done so you can see what the whole scenario looks like. I just think it's going to be gorgeous. I really do. I'm so excited. Sorry, you know how I get about Stitch Project. Yeah, and then I got another one staring me in the face. Yay! Special, special times. Okay. Okay, so we like this. So we're going to... Oh, I guess it just... I don't know. It didn't... God, it's kind of freaking hard. To, it doesn't unscrew. Oh, maybe... No, it doesn't have any gaps either. It just has little snaps. See that little ledge? That's what holds that cap on. But uh, you're supposed to close it, and then that'll take it down to these little levels where the little dips are. And then you just pull your thread through there as you pull it off, you know, to get however much thread you want. All right, hang on, guys. Let me put you on pause a minute. Okay, I'm back, guys. Um, I got out this little sampler just as an example today. And this is what I'm going to be showing you lay it in the palm of my hand this is the threader that I got so you can use it on a really big needle or a smaller one and I haven't figured out what that hole is for so if anybody knows fill me in is it to like just hang this from something so you don't lose it this is really thin and really fine like I said and it, it's it's pretty sturdy you know, all things considered. I think the problem comes in when you lose it because it's slickered and slick. Alright, so we got our thread. And let me get it undone from here. We're working on the, the pumpkin over here. Whoops, let's not lose everything. Okay, so we're going to use our thread magic first. I don't have a problem with DMC colors. Okay, let's see if we can get it where it needs to go. Snap our little puppy on there. Let's go back just enough, and then we'll pull it all the way. Whoops, if I could get a hold of it. And we're just pulling it through, and it's conditioning the thread. And that way it's closed. Okay, so in order to use this, we have a needle, and this is the needle that came with it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. So you take this. I think both would work, maybe. Yes, that'll work. Because it's nice and wide. And this one will also work. So, which... Let me get you in the light. The light's too far down. All right. So, see, both ends will fit. Because that needle's pretty big. It won't go any further than that. Okay, so we'll use a big one just for demonstrations. And you make a loop, and you put, hang on, you put the loop around the loop like that. Can everybody see that? And then just pull it through, and it's threaded. I'll do that again. Put the, the metal part in through the needle and hoop oh crap if I could get a hold of it I can't watch my monitor okay so now you have the thread around the hook and you just pull it through and it threads your needle just like that and I've had up to six strands it'll it just works beautifully so I just wanted to show that to you and show you how that worked if you'd never seen it but I got one like this with one of the first uh, great big ones big um, cross stitch or one either cross stitch or beaded one and I just absolutely love it and I ordered the old-fashioned kind that has a little wire no go absolutely no go no it won't so um, I I got rid of them. I, I just couldn't look at them. So this has been the best threader I've ever gotten. 
And you can get 50 of them from Amazon for like less than $8 maybe. And it comes in a little packet. And there's going to be enough there for a lifetime there. You know, for me to lose. I probably, when it's all said and done, have about six or eight in each room. But, uh, <coughs> yeah. But I just wanted to show that to you. And I don't know what we're doing here. I think I had that color, but I wanted to show you from the get-go. Yeah, it's all the same color. I'm just going to leave that little tail. But, uh... It makes it nice. I mean, I, I really haven't had a problem with the cotton. It's just always been the, the, uh, crap. That bobbin, oh my God, what is it called? Th oh, jeez. Here we go. You knew that happened to happen, right? Oh my God. Yeah, I haven't had a problem. <laughs> Crash. Um, did I lose y'all together? Um, that bead thread is just freaking horrible when you get it, you know. Oh, see, I was going to say I lost it already. Oh, I'm telling you. I just, but I wanted, and this is when you use the little one. So just hook the thread around and pull it right through and it threads it just like magic just like magic they're invaluable so stop carting them around ladies go get yourself a thing of you know 50 to 100 of these and uh, and it'll make your life a whole lot easier a whole lot easier are you kidding me oh holy cow yeah Laura is not having a good day. I keep licking it. Land. I, can you tell I haven't found mine in a while? And it doesn't, I don't think it matters if you go upside down or inside out or whatever. Just hook the thread on there and it pulls it right through. But, you know, the, the operator of the needle has to go up the right side of the uh, material in order for it to sew properly. Jeez. So, I mean, I, I think you could probably put that, like, on a keychain or or something to hold that. And so you'd have it, you know, if you were stitching on a couch or whatever, and it wouldn't fall into the couch. And, but, um, yeah, it, it was well worth the money spent. I didn't know I could get them. Thank you so much. One of my subscribers said, hey, you can get those in, like, 50. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that'll work. Oh, my God, I was so excited. Yeah, it was. So, yep, we just proceeded to get 50 of them in. You know, who knows? In another six months, I might need 50 more because I've already lost them all. But, uh, I don't know. This thing's kind of stiff because I haven't worked a lot on it. I still haven't put all that, um, crap. All of that uh, back stitching around those stupid acorns. You can't hardly see them. So... I'm leaving that one square where I can get rid of that other thread. <coughs> Sorry. Been one of those days. Got real cloudy this afternoon. Looked like it was going to pour down a rain. Didn't do a darn thing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, I don't know. It may rain tonight. I have no idea. But it's still cloudy. Which was nice and fine with me because yesterday was hotter than the hobs of hell. It was horrible. I'm ready for it to snow. <sighs> they... Or at least be cooler weather. That would help. But, uh, yeah, I just barely started on this pumpkin part. And I told you I, was, I worked a little bit on the counted cross stitch. Haven't gotten any more done with that. But, uh... Yeah, so I, I was excited to get my little, what do you call them, needle threaders. I just loved them. Just absolutely loved them. Oh, God. Oh, I was looking at tea yesterday. 
was it yesterday? Maybe yesterday or the day before. Oh my god. I want to buy some oolong tea. God knows how long that'll take and how many thousand bugs will be in it by the time I get it, but who knows. I always wanted to try oolong tea, and I found some Darjeeling. I love Darjeeling tea. The first time I drank Darjeeling tea was at the Brown Palace Hotel in Denver with my grandmother. It was just lovely. And I've always loved Darjeeling. And I even watched an, a Bollywood movie that they were in um, Darjeeling. And, uh, yeah, quite an old place. But I could probably live happily there forever. Just nice and quiet in the country. And it was just gorgeous. And all the, the tea plants and plantations and stuff that are around there. and It's just different. You know, I mean, it's different than Mumbai and, uh, and New Delhi and and even Agra, you know, it's, I don't know, it's got charm all its own, it's up higher than all those, I think, in altitude, um, and they're on the borders of the Himalayan mountains, so, yeah, oh, well, you know, some places aren't like the pictures, but sure, pays to dream every once in a while, but uh, I'd like to see India, and I'd like to see China. But, you know, it, it probably won't meet up to its expectations, so I might as well just keep watching it on TV and on movies and stuff. And I think the scenery is... Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. It's just absolutely gorgeous, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. It's different. I like different every once in a while, you know? you got to go see something different. And something that's so beautiful and so breathtaking that, you know, you won't ever forget it for the rest of your life. And, uh, it's, sometimes it's hard to do, but, uh, and I live in Colorado, so I see beauty around me all the time, every day. And, you know, you start taking it for granted, and it, it's not good. You need to go see something new and appreciate where you live and where, you know other people live and how they live, you know. I just like to go and tour India and China and the back countries and and all that scenery. I mean, God, I could just go crazy with a fucking camera. <laughs> Please. But they probably wouldn't let me out of the country with all my pictures, but I just think they're it's it's just beautiful and different, you know, than what you look at every day. And the customs and the way people live and the clothing they wear. It's just fascinating, you know. Because you've seen nothing but this all your life. So, one of these days, you know, I'll get brave enough. But, uh, all right, guys. Well, I just wanted this to be a little quick how to do. And there it is again. So go get yourself a needle threader and save your time, self time and frustration. 50 to a bag, ladies and gentlemen, 50 to a bag. Come on, you can do this. But uh, yeah, and thread magic, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. And I like to review things because I like to see it for myself. I mean, it's different watching other people do it, and you know, they they just do it like it's nothing, but you know, this was something new for me to do, so there you go. Have a good day, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when the next video comes out. Y'all have a good evening. God bless. Bye-bye.